Welcome to episode 6 of the Cookie Glass Podcast, the podcast where we talk about Dragon Ball Fighters and anything else fighting game related. I'm your host, Subway Cookie, and in this episode, I'll be talking with a few friends about the Dragon Ball Fighters patch that we'll be, um, that we'll be experiencing in about a week or so, a few weeks. It should be cool. Anyways, I've got two of my friends. I've got Neji, and I've got Dante. I'm here joining me. Um, Yo, what's good? Hey, guys. So... I guess what I'll get, uh, what I'll do, um, just so the viewers can um, <coughs> know you guys, um, introduce yourselves, and I guess let us know um, your mains and also what other fighting games that you play or enjoy playing at the moment. Um, maybe we'll start with we'll start with you, Dante. Uh, I play a lot of fighting games. Can't really pin them down to my favorite. I play a lot of Melty Blood. Play a lot of Unis. Dragon Ball is kind of fell below my radar, but I'm hoping with this new patch, maybe it can change up things a bit. Maybe with some new DLC characters, it can liven up the game, because right now, um, for a lack of better terms, the game's really bad, in my honest opinion. And I think there's a lot of things they need to touch base on before the game will ever even be good again. And that's just my thoughts. Cool. And Neji, how about you? Um, me, uh, I'm definitely a Dragon Ball mark, um, just because I love Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but I do play um, Unist. Uh, I definitely do play Unist. Um, I play, what else, Street Fighter. That's pretty bland since, you know, <laughs> that's he's talking about bland games. Um, but Street Fighter, <laughs> definitely Street Fighter. Um, Nitro Blasters, um, definitely, I feel like it's a very underrated game. Um, so much Sonico cosplay, but you don't see anybody playing Nitro Blasters at all. Um, and let me see, um, what the fuck, what else do I fight? Like, I have a whole lot of fight. I can't even pin it down. Um, but, yeah, those are pretty much my main three that I play. Uh, on Smash, of course. Yeah. Fair enough. So we've got a diverse, um, I guess a diverse mindset on it so uh, for me I, 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 I'm a bit neutral so I, I enjoy the game but also it does have um, it does have its flaws as well so we've got a variety of um, variety of thoughts on the game and I guess we'll hit hit the nail on the head and we'll talk about the patch that I've, well the patch notes that we've gotten um, so far I know there's a uh, few other changes uh, apparently apparently and apparently this is the only patch for the year or if i'm not mistaken um yeah the only one. which <laughs> can either go one of two ways yeah yeah if they don't address really bad or really good yeah. <laughs> like i've seen I've some seen fighting game is mm, sorry yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've seen some some opinions, some, some people of the opinion that where if it's a one one patch, one major ass patch, you know, you've got a whole year um, to adjust, and you don't have to keep switching the meta. But you know, like like Happy says as well, if they don't hit the right um, hit the right points, I mean, the game can fair. Yeah, the game can crash <laughs> pretty much my i i mean i call I, bullshit on that honestly mm-hmm. yeah i i would i would agree to an extent um mm-hmm. personally i don't think the meta's ever really had too much of a change in dragon ball overall mm-hmm. i mean the snap meta has always been busted mm-hmm. like literally since day one it's always been jacked um the fact that people were just finding more dumb things about the snap setups and the fuzzies um i mean i think it's just a testament to how much things they actually need to fix and focus on rather than uh throwing a few characters a bone here and there i don't think that's going to make the game better objectively Mm -hmm. i think they need to overall just buff the game Mm -hmm. i think they need to buff defense as of right now i don't really think you get rewarded a lot for playing defense no no, like none (laughs) <laughs> like, because uh, there, there's people say, oh, you, you should reflect. Okay, well, there's plenty of times where you reflect on the punish, and you know they they still get the hit anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, super dash. I don't really see 
uh, as big as a problem as everybody else that I can agree on. Uh, two eight super dash. There's no reason for people to be in the air anyways. Really, if you like enjoy playing neutral in fighters, there's really, really no reason for you to be in the air. Um, so I don't really see super dash as big as a problem, but um, I think overall the defense, the defensive options are the hugest flaws in the game. Um, reflect just isn't enough. There needs to be push block something. Sparking isn't an it's just not like V V trigger to like V trigger is way better than Spark. And that's like really freaking bad. Like n you can't say that about any other activation kind of mechanic in a fighting game. Like, like Melty Blood, Eunice, cause chain like chain shift is godlike. You know? Guilty Gear has has an amazing chain activation but it, as far as dragon ball is concerned sparking is either like like sparking can either help you but you can still get punished really hard for it and have it just be a complete waste and i think that's a huge yeah i didn't really agree with the sparking pretty much the sparking nerf because yeah. um people talking about how the game was slow the game was really at a high level was played at a pretty high pace in my right. eyes in terms of if you're talking about a balanced team game yeah um i said that from jump street and then of course you know if you're not one of the top five people in the world talking about the game then you're just an idiot um, right <laughs> but um i mean i really want to touch on that later like really 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 want to touch on that later it, it's not even about top player privilege because i don't think top player privilege exists i just think the the, the people who listen to top players are really fucking moronic and i'm sorry i let that slip but it's just <laughs> how i'm feeling um, <laughs> nah, pe like, like 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 it seriously pisses me off that pe people take sonic fox's word at face freaking value and like just run with it mm -hmm. like i hear people saying trunks is top tier now that's no it's no let me, tell you, let me let me tell you the pain of a trunk i dragon ball what got me hyped for dragon ball was evo of it being announced and they released Trunks' intro, right? Heck yeah. Trunks' trailer, everybody that wanted to play Dragon Ball, Trunks sealed the deal for everybody. Right. Um, yeah. Because he was just that hype. And then it's the fact of Trunks is, I think Trunks, Frieza, and I would say, fuck, oh, excuse, sorry, Subway. No, I think okay. Trunks, Frieza, and um, Tr Trunks, Frieza, and Teen Gohan, I feel like, are the epitome of what's wrong with Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, because these are all characters that are pretty much like one actual, like one real change away from really showing how busted this game is because they have all the tools to be mm -hmm. a great be, be great characters. That's why you see a whole lot of Frieza mains like Alucard, um um, Prezi, uh, I used to be a Kyle. Well, yeah. Yeah. You got people yeah. on the West Coast, like Cali yeah. Muscle. Yeah, like, man. You had, like, people just, the fact that people have to, because I was, my, let me tell you, my, my shell was Frieza Trunks, and then I used either Super Saiyan, Goku, or Gohan. Mm -hmm. And if, if it's a balanced game, that's a top tier team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With what? Right everybody has you have zoning that you can bait stuff but the fact that frieza could not hold his own because he had like what uh an eight frame light or seven frame light right like yeah. that was asinine and you had characters like freaking piccolo who from jump i said i'm not playing this character because he's broke yeah and people even slept on gotenks day one which was oh. pretty moronic oh, yeah. like I, I, look, this is how I knew Gotenks was top tier. I did machine gun punch, like EX machine gun punch on block. And, you know, I've been playing fighting games, competing in fighting games for about nine years now. And, you know, you, you know how you just know and feel when something's plus? And you're like, yeah, this character is dumb. <laughs> this character is going to be stupid. He got a stupid forward walk, he has a stupid back walk. He has a stupid level three. He has a stupid special. He has a stupid jump light. He has a stupid jump H. 
He has a stupid two way like that. That that character is dumb. <laughs> yeah, he's dumb. He's dumb, strong. And he, and he just goes with the second everybody. I saw there was yeah, yeah ghost. Yeah. Forgot all about them. <laughs> hey man, like go tanks. I I think go tanks should be like I don't know if I'm of the of the thing of the of the wrong opinion here, but I think go tanks should be the standard. Like if everyone's gonna be like, if go tanks is gonna be that broken, I think everyone else should be that broken, and that's what that. Probably what should make sale, the game yeah. fun. Sale was. Sale oh. should have been the standard. Like, mm. people were complaining. This is yeah. why it gets me upset with fighting game players. It's the fact that sale was, to me, was the okay standard of being broke. Because the character itself was supposed to be perfect. He's supposed mm. to have setups. He's a big character. So mm. give him some leeway. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the cell, I miss, I honestly miss the cell broke adult Gohan meta. Because yeah, I do too. Was, yeah. To me, that was when the game was at its most competitive. That was genuine. Yeah, it was yeah. It was a genuine, like, you didn't have that in a lot of fighters. Like, the only fighting game at that time that was like that for me was Eunice, and I just discovered Eunice. Yeah. You know saying? Like, I went down to, shout out to Lost Ark in greensboro but like i went down and that was when i was like i was like oh crap what is this game like i haven't felt anything to me anything like that since like capcom versus snk2 mm -hmm. like to me it was that good for me Unist was and then when i played dragon ball i was like okay it's not there but it's like that light for me in terms of the team version because I haven't played team games since, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Right. You right. know, because I wasn't playing Ultimate. <laughs> I just wasn't going to go there. Yeah. Um, but, like, that was... Sales should have been the standard of how broke the game was, and the, they should have built the roster to that level. Mm -hmm. You know, with buffs according. Because I, I'm not, I've never been of the ilk of taking away things from a character to bring them down to the curb. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, and like even in Eunice, people are like like there there's not really any bad characters in Eunice either. Like even people say Andiku's bad, but like even still like Andiku's kind of like he's kind of like a silly character in terms of like being privileged with block pressure. So you know, um I think and, and one of my biggest beefs with Arc Systems is because uh, they make a really good game and then they somehow screw up the next and then make a really good game and then somehow screw up the next. Um, I think they just need to follow their formula in and out. Um, I think Videl is like a good step in the right direction. I'm oh. glad she's as good as she is. Oh. I don't play her personally, but I'm really happy she's the way she is. Mm -hmm. um, I think Jiren could use a few more buffs. Maybe. Um, overall, I think, yeah, I think you guys are right, though. Gotenks and Cell should have definitely been the standard that the game should have been held to. Mm -hmm. And everybody should have got, you know, heightened from that. Because I mm -hmm. felt like, you know, what Ned G was talking about earlier with, you know, the day one meta, I felt like, and by genuine, I meant when you got opened up, it's because you got mixed, you mm -hmm. know? Now when you get opened, Opened up, it's because you got Dragon Rush, like, and, and that's all she wrote. Yep. That's all she wrote. There are some characters, and, and people want to sit here and fuss with me all the time, but there are some characters in this game, Piccolo, Gotenks, especially Gotenks, but even still, I, I kind of like Gotenks being the way he is now. Um, but Gotenks, like, Gotenks is a legit character that touches you once on block or on hit, and you might not play the game. Yeah. And... Like, that's pretty freaking scary, but it's like, if it's going to be like that, I'd rather all the characters be like that, because I don't want to have to play Gotenks. You know, I've played Gotenks since day one, but I don't want to have to play <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know the feel, man. Like, right now, because I've, um, originally I was playing Adult Gohan, Videl, and Super Saiyan Goku, because the, the synergy between Videl and Super Saiyan Goku is just, oh, it's just so good. But then, but when I come right. to 
Well, when I try and use um, like Adam Gohan and Videl, like there's there's synergy, but it's not not so much. But then when I try and when I when I was messing around with Gotenks and Videl, it was just like a hundred times stronger than than Adult Gohan and Videl, and I and it just feels right. so rough. Like, I'm like, oh, I have to, I have to play Gotenks now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> because Gotenks just does yeah, right. um so yeah. many so much more things. Whereas like if I, if it was um day one meta with Adult Gohan, like though this is like it, the synergy is not might not still be there, but at least with Adult Gohan I can somehow make up for it. But now it's just um I I think I think you know what <laughs> y'all 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 know what I mean, like. Like when Adult Gohan, like I, could, I probably could make make up with it by him, like with, with his solo, like with his solo mix, and maybe even using the um the right. assist. But now it's just like I have to rely on Gotenks um, <laughs> to, yeah, to get what I thing, want. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing now with the game. It's either you know if you are playing either high online. Or if you're going out to a local, or you're going out to a tournament just anywhere, you're going to be running into either a team with Gohan, not Gohan, Gotenks, Yamcha, or Beam. Yeah. That's just what it is, and that's that's the sad part for me. This is That's what I feel like people should be concentrating on, of like... I want to see people who have Beams as that be. We should have multiple assists. Because there's nothing stopping this game from having that. Like this should be a part of this big patch that's coming up. So it's a new game, you know. Because go tinks, I shouldn't have to have like. Because my team right now that I play is Point Go Tinks, Adele, and Anchor Go On. And it depending on the matchup is who I call out in terms of meter management. And I shouldn't be like, well. I have a beam. I have a Masinko. I can call Gotenks just for a good lockdown, or if they fuck up, it's going to track, and then I can catch in the oh. air, <laughs> and then call right. it a day and do the same thing with Videl. And people are just like, "What the hell?" It's not a real mix at all. It's just like, just don't get hit, and you're good. Mm -hmm. right. Like, but people rely on that. People rely on just like, let me super dash the Kazunoko. You know, let me super dash and call Yamcha and then back out and then I'm reset right back into neutral and then I have three characters who are great in neutral by themselves, period, so I'm gonna outplay you there. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's kind of for me, I feel like the game should be leaning more towards it's cool with the patch with the patch notes that we're gonna be talking about, of what people got buffed. That's cool. But I feel like the core of it is should be more diversity. So I should be seeing like a team of a team of realistically a team of like let's say a character who doesn't exist in this game, Android seventeen. Uh, seventeen with a beam assist, Ginyu and Frieza. That should be a real team. Like I you should that's what this game should lend it to. Mm. Of being that diverse in terms of team makeup and being able to just mold, you know, you should it, everybody should be a specialist in my opinion who plays this game seriously. Mm. Like you should have that much diversity in this game. I agree. Um, I think one point I want to touch on with assist and people call me crazy for this, but clearly they've never played Skullgirls. Um, I would appreciate the option of a custom assist. Um, let me make my assist whatever the hell I want it to be. If I want my assist to be 16's jab, yo, know, let me have that. <laughs> let me rock. Let me rock with that, please. Or you know? even if it's not to that extent, you know, there's like a few super moves. Uh, not super moves, I mean special moves. You know, in the of game. course. Yeah. Right. You could, you could easily just have, I don't know, instead of, um, I don't know, as an example. Like, imagine of, one... Imagine yeah. wanting to play Gotenks and Vegeta, but or okay. Imagine wanting to play Gotenks but not Vegeta. Mm -hmm. So, 
instead of having the, the Suba Donut, you, you could have his Dai Dai Missile Barrage. Yeah. Right? Instead of having to have Vegeta assist. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. it's just so much more convenient. And with Skullgirls, you had that leniency. And, mm-hmm. like, Skullgirls, I mean, let's face it. It's what Dragon Ball is slowly turning into. So, I mean, you might as well, you know, take a few steps from the book, bro. Take a, take a few notes from the pages, you know? That's all I'm saying. I think custom assist wouldn't do this game any harm. If a second was assist would would have hurt, then I, I think custom assist would have hurt. Yeah. I think that would definitely open up this game to everybody's potential that they want this game at. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Because I think really the whole like going back into the whole snap meta and all that like snap was there P- people were talking about how snap is really how this game should be played at the beginning and because you know um i know dante's gonna be talking about this later but because you know you had people like i love the dude i love the dude wish him well and his health and everything but initially you know nakia didn't really give a damn about snap right. <laughs> it was you know it was more like all right let me go ahead and mix you in the corner real fast with Gohan and then call it a day. Mm-hmm. Or Goichi was doing the same thing. Like, let me just go ahead, Finrich, doing this whole TLD, everything. That's what it was like. Let me impose my will. And then it, I don't know who, who, who was the actual like pro player that was like, oh, Snap is like the shit now. Like, um, I have no idea. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's been plenty. You know, because yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like Snap was. It was apparent. Like people were doing that in story mode when the computer was like broke. <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. It was like let's just snap in this person here. Let's snap in this dummy. Snap in this dummy. Oh look, the health is kind of going down. And you know, for me, I feel like developers really know what they're talking about to an extent because a character like Krillin, for me used the right way should be like one of the top characters in the game i might sound crazy but no i'm on on the same opinion i I don't know if you guys know hex pro dude like the the way that hex plays um krillin my gosh man like he makes krillin seem broke but like i reckon if krillin like if krillin was just a little bit better like he'd be so much more broke. so much more broke which would be a good like a good kind of broke kind of thing so yeah yeah that's why i think the mm-hmm. patches the patch um the buffs that krillin is getting i feel like is going to like really it's going to be what the last patch was for ginyu for me i think mm-hmm. that you're going to see a whole lot more krillins at this patch no, because hoping. what they gave i think what was it um solar flare and the fact that you can connect any of his key blast into a corner circle mm-hmm. so like that's stupid <laughs> if right. he touches you one time with the key blast you're dead because especially if you're in the corner and he has the right assist oh yeah and like i know it sounds it sounds hella broken but that's that's what people want <laughs> like, i reckon that's what people want like if it's broke like if if everyone's broken in some sort of way, like it doesn't have to be the same fucking way. <laughs> like as long as it's like that, everyone has like I think that um I think it was Dante like you no know, when they if, as long as everyone's a specialist, you know like freezes broke zoning or Gotenks broke pressure or whatever. Like as long as someone's broke in some way, like, at least everyone's kind of um got something that they can work with not nothing you know, you know what i mean no um yeah but hopefully yeah hopefully the this patch will be able to to add a little bit of that but i guess we'll we'll, we'll we can um get right onto that patch um maybe is there any uh, anyone you guys want to particularly talk about uh first off i mean i or... guess we could just go Go down the list, huh? So uh, what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. And just to note, the the jumping to H does not do the cooler launch forward. They corrected that. 
Are we Goku? Yeah. Yeah, Super Saiyan Goku is just that. I think it has more vertical, I think, now. Yeah, so yeah. I think they meant you're going to be able to delay it into a Super Dash. Okay. Yeah. Because I, a lot of people that have a vertical air 2 way, it's like Bardock and um, Kid Boo, people like that, they, um, they're allowed to um, delay Super Dash. Even Team Gohan can delay Super Dash just slightly and, uh, and do a side switch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that makes sense. And then I guess the overhead punch, which the one thing they should have done, they should have brought back the old overhead punch to where it pretty much tracks because Goku needs that shit. Like, <laughs> super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the worst way, but I guess you just get more reward on hit and if you hit it. Mm-hmm. In terms of either you get a sliding knockdown or you get more damage in terms of the light version. It'd be pretty interesting to see what it is, like what the actual better reward means. I'm right. hoping that they just give him a stealth buff. You know, throw, throw Super Saiyan Goku a 2L, that's all. You know? There ain't, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know? Nappa got all of them for everybody who needs it. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nappa stole my man's toes, bro. Like, it's unfair. Like, I think who is Trunks needs it in the worst way. Because for me, I feel like, was it Trunks' buffs in terms of the Shining Slash mm-hmm. um, being able to have, basically being plus in the air and on the ground mm. is cool, but I mean, I mean, as a Trunks player, if I hit you with that, I'm laughing. If I hit you with Shining Slash, even in a combo, I'm laughing at you. Because yeah. you should be looking for it in the stream <laughs> and saying, all right, he's either going to vanish, which should be punished, or he's going to backdash, which should be punished. Mm. So, I mean, that really doesn't do anything for him. And then the Cyclone jump variations, it, all it does is just leads it to be easier to have more combos off of that instead of having to be, like, precise with it mm-hmm. each and every time. Mm-hmm. So, Trunks buff, like, like, like Dante said, unless we have a whole lot of stealth stuff with certain characters in this patch, I don't really see a lot. Um... I think Super Saiyan Vegeta's uh, level 3 is going to be really I, huge. I think, I huge think that is one of the biggest buffs in the entire world. Yeah. Because I think Go or Goku, I think Vegeta was like really freaking scary in the corner already. Yeah. So really I think giving, giving him an air level 3 that grants him a super knockdown, um, I guess um, to me, really, would be the positioning he's left at. Um, other than that, everything's everything works out for me. I think that's a really good buff for Vegito. And Vegito. Vegito has the same buff. That's stupid oh. scary. I think Vegito is going to benefit a lot from this. He does too. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Like, um, just... Uh, to be like uh, to be fair, I think that was one of the biggest one of the big gripes that I had with um both Vegito and Vegito. I don't know if it is Vegeta blue as well, is it? Like with the if he does it in the air? Does he also get a knockdown? Yeah. yeah. Um like I spent three bars for this for this damn super. Like I better <laughs> no, I better get a knockdown. It doesn't matter if I do it on the ground or in the air. No, I should be should be getting a knock like a knockdown because I spent three freaking bars for this damn thing, you know. So now that it's here, yeah, right? Now that it's here, it's 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 good. That's that's what it should be. Should have been in the in the first place. Um. Yeah. Well. Um. 
Piccolo, prepare for more mix from Hellzone Grenade because it's easier to pick up opponent after hitting them with the Hellzone. So, you know, it's pretty much um, all that does for me. I think it gets people. You are able to see who the real Piccolos are and the fake Piccolos are because they're going to really be able to. Um, you're not going to have to use assist as much with Piccolo for the Hellzone mix. Yeah, true. So. I think um, that's going to, I think, uh, I think that buffs uh, Goichi, Apology Man, and Hook instantly. Yeah, definitely Hook for sure. Yeah, so I think that that gives the Bardock Goku shells, um, a whole, that gives you a whole lot more shit that you can do. And that I think that also boosts um, Piccolo as an anchor. Or just that last character that's still alive to have still have that threat for mix-ups. Hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely don't have to have him on point. Or actually, you, you, you can definitely just have him and still still be a threat. You know, just good. Um, Frieza, actually. <laughs> the, the one buff that I was hoping, but I don't know if... It, I, I'm hoping that it's one of those... Those buffs that they haven't put in, but is the level three, <laughs> like the, with his own um, ultimate Frieza. Man, that was the <laughs> thing that I was looking for the most, and it, it, I'm it it it's not in the it wasn't touched on in the stream, and I but I hope I hope to God that that is one of the things that they they bring they they change back for him because that was I'm curious it, as to how they would buff it though. I, I think how it was before, you know, with the meter. I, I think the biggest thing like would, was the meat, like killing the meter after using it, especially in like a, in a combo uh, string, like that. Like, yeah, sure. I think that was. Then that's going to be hella hard yeah. to, for. I, I would, I would love to see them bring that back, but if they bring that back for Frieza, then that's going to be one of the stealth. <laughs> like, everybody gets it back. Yeah, uh, you know. Because, yeah. or, if not, then you know GT Goku probably will have it in his install, if he has an install. Oh. <laughs> that's yeah, <annoying>. possibly. <laughs> I, like, but that's another, that's another part of the whole conversation. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Frieza needs that in the worst way, because it's like, any transformation character in this game should, for me... I feel like Frieza should be getting a hard knockdown off his level three in Golden mm. instead of Ooh, that that'd soft. be neat. Yeah, because it's like to me, it's like all right, cool. I get the fact that he has an SKD pretty much off of his level three in normal, and that sets up for a whole lot of like you know resets, all that shit mixes if you want to, mm. or just being plus, especially with his uh, five L and two L getting um more frame advantage so yeah. that's cool but i feel like if it's golden frieza if i hit you with the get buff motherfucker <laughs> like if i hit you with the get buff then like i should be able to set you up for anything i want hmm. yeah i think that's i think Fair that's enough. one of the things um that should be all around right like if he you level three someone. I uh, spent this much. I uh, should probably be able to. And but I guess the thing is as well that I just thought of like the defensive options. I guess if the defensive options were a bit better, then maybe it wouldn't be so so much of a bad thing. But I I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's hell early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hell early in the morning for me. <laughs> yeah but um oh yeah. it's another huge one is Ginyu the Ginyu army is going to get stronger and stronger guys oh my uh, gosh Birder and the being able to call out Ginyu members in different parts of the screen oh yeah that's dumb <laughs> that's dumb <laughs> Oh, yeah, I don't that's... know how I feel about that. 
I'll, I guess I'll have to see it in action. But I don't, I don't know, because I, I, I've never touched any of Because, like, <laughs> like, you know, I play double up, and, um, nah. I'm not feeling that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'm not feeling that, yo. <laughs> yo, it's my lab partner, yo. I'm, I'm not feeling that in the slightest. <laughs> not even a little bit. Damn, man. Shit, it's like you got murder on the ground, so you're going to have oppression everywhere. Like, imagine the, sh- the teams. I think Ginyu is going to allow for the most diversity in the game. Honestly, because think about it if you are even a halfway competent fighting game player. I know when I saw Ginyu, I was like, oh, that's fucking, that's an easy Sonica right there. Yeah. Like, like, and in the right hand, Sonico is the best player, best character in Nitro. So it's kind of like, oh, yeah. If you have that plus you have two other people that can be on the screen at the same time and you're able to move around freely, that's oppression all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it's not it's not just oppression, it's unfair. You know, um when I when I pay sixty dollars for a game, I wanna play two. <laughs> 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 I, I wanna play too. <laughs> That's not right, man. That's not right. That don't rub me the right way. Hey man, just hope that all I have to say is just hope that Japan doesn't find out about Ginyu even more. Because if they do then us Westerners we pick up things real slow. So uh all I have to say is I'm, uh, I will be afraid of any Ginyu Fujita shells, honestly. Cause that's you know what? No, I, I, I can't even I can't even like that because you know what? I the Japanese players still haven't discovered one of the more broken characters in this game, Zamasu. Mm. They haven't really. I don't think they scratched the surface with Zamasu. I think they saw him, tried him. And it was like, nah, nah I'm good. I'm going to just keep on playing Bardock. You know? Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, though? <laughs> I would continue playing Bardock, even though, like, the two characters I'm, like, trying my hardest not to play is Bardock and Yamcha. Mm. Like, right now, Zamasu, until this, uh, I think what he has, uh, his normals got buffed. Yeah. Right. His normals got buffed, and his 214S has been powered up. Oh, Which I think is a really good move. Say that again, man. Sorry. I said I think that's a really good move. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm. the thing was, when, every, when Zamasu first came out, everybody was screaming Magneto. Yeah. You know? Mm. Like everybody, was like, oh my god, oh my god! Like this dude has flight. He's the only person in the game that has flight. Could you imagine like all the crap that you can do, all the cancels? Like that's what I want to see from Zamasu. Like for that, that's when I'll say, okay, Zamasu is scary. If you tell me the holy right light grenade, not 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 that. What is it? The uh, what's the um, little um, what? joint that he does? Which one? The, the, um, uh, the Blaze of Justice? Basically, hell, yeah, Blaze of Justice. Yeah. If you tell me, like, I can get Blaze of Justice just as easy as I can Hellzone, <laughs> then you'll see Japan, like, work with that cat. Yeah, true. And he's like, I mean, I think hey. you can get it fairly easy. Because, like, you could comp Blaze of Justice pretty easily. The people that I've seen do it, it takes a whole lot of effort, and it's not even worth it. Oh, like, I, I think like, um, I saw um, yeah. Shao. Yeah, you're right, though. Shao did a video where you could follow up after, like, solo follow up after Blades of the Blades of Justice, or Blades of Judgment, either way, BOJ. <laughs> he had BOJ. Like, <laughs> like, he, he, like it, the way he was explaining it was like it's just like a bit of like so much effort. Like you have to, like you have to be up a certain height. 
and then once you do it, you air dash straight away so that they actually get hit by the damn thing, and then it's just so much things to, to think of right now. Like with them, yeah, you know, Blaze and Justice, um, DOJ, yeah. And that's why Bardock is mm-hmm. such a fuck, such a good character because you don't have to think. <laughs> Five L all day. <laughs> I mean, shoot, like, would you not? That's the thing. Like, I know it's salty. I know I, I like rage all the time with it. Like, but if I have the best anti air, it's just square. Mm-hmm. Would you Anywhere not on do screen. It? <laughs> if it's if I jump square, if I'm just mashing square on the ground, one of my three <laughs> one of my three strings are gonna hit. <laughs> so I'm I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I yeah. mean I don't think I don't think it's that good because like I play Bardock religiously and trust me, I have bro, I have time the fu- Oh, man. You thinking? You thinking, man? It's you, overwhelming. You're thinking, Bardock. Not bro, playing. it. <laughs> bro, it, timing. Five LL to like anti or super dash is like, it's almost obnoxious and pointless, and you might as well just down back in the down heavy, you know, like mm-hmm. at that point because it's 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 extremely dumb. I think what catches people and what gets people so salty about it is the fact that it snatches you out the air mm-hmm. it's not it's a really shitty anti-air but it snatches you out the air because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I mean i it because see mm-hmm. right. oh no we lost him <laughs> Yeah, true that, true that, true. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But that's not to say it's not really freaking good. Not nah, stupid. Mm-hmm. It's one of the best. But I also think sixteen has that too, and nobody really talks about oh, him. Oh, oh God! Don't start. Don't I start. Six, I, look, don't I, I start. play sixteen, <laughs> and sixteen's my guy. I be yo look, look. I move with that big mom, bro. Look, that man can move for a big body. He has a ton of mobility and i think that's what makes him absurd uh he has way too much mobility bro he left right on top of you pause actually <laughs> nah no pause because nah yeah no no pause on that at all because I, I don't know how 16 rolls but you know um <laughs> yeah you know for a big character he's just really really fat and I think that's what catches a lot of people off guard. Like Broly's kind of slow up close, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, but they oppress I've... in different ways, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Like, sixteen is. I don't know how many times I've come down to me versus sixteen, and it's just like he just snatches my soul. <laughs> yeah. Like people. I'm cool with like I'm cool with Bardock. I see how dumb he can be, but for me, like I feel like 16 is worse. That's just me personally. I feel like 16 is worse just because his normals are like god. He has yeah. armor on his he like I don't know how many times I've seen red. <laughs> I've yeah. seen this man turn red in his 5H. I'm like, "Oh yeah, I got him." No, nope, that's a double hit. My bad. Uh it's like and Lariat doesn't have. No, Lariat doesn't have. What Lariat has, depending on which one, it's like two or three. Right, but it, like what I'm saying is like I think, I think sixteen is an objectively. I, th- I think. I think where it stands right now, mm-hmm. he can just press shit. Bardock can't really press shit that much. You gotta really stay on your P's and Q's with sixteen. Oh hell yeah! Because you, you can get tick thrown. Can't back. You can't back dash him at all. Nope. Can't jump at him at all. You can't eat, bro. You can't jump back against sixteen. That's what makes him so troublesome. You can't jump back. 
that's why that, that's referring to what I said in the beginning of uh, the podcast. You know, you shouldn't be, bro. Stay on the ground. Mm-hmm. Stay on the freaking ground. There's no reason for you to play be playing neutral and you're just doing a rant. Random IEDs about to give you dumbass self arthritis for no reason, all because you can't sit the fuck still. <laughs> I hate players like that. I hate players like that. Just sit down. Damn. <laughs> Just stand there, block. Maybe you want to get hit by so many damn super dashes and then go on Twitter and fucking complain. God, that shit bugs me. It's like every other day. Playing about Super Dash. Damn, when the fuck can't y'all just two way? It's not that deep. Punish the core game mechanic. Game mechanic. Uh, God, it's so uh, triggering seeing people just complain and complain and complain about Super Dash. Yeah. It's not that serious. Just stay on the ground. That's it. That's it. Just sit down. I used to wonder why kids used to get their ass beat in the, in the grocery store line for touching the bar of candy. It's like, yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. No, that's not yours. No, just sit there. Just stand in line. Wait your turn. That's it. I see, bro, I see people get blown up all the time because, like, they'll super dash and then back dash on block. Then they'll do another back dash and then get hit by my super dash. It's like, why did you back dash? <laughs> just sit still. And then you wouldn't have gotten hit. You lost. Bro, it's like, I feel like people who play fighters don't want to win. You know, that, that's, that's the only honest to God conclusion I've come to while venturing on this damn game is that people don't want to fucking win. And when they don't want to win, they go on Twitter and bitch and then suck off the dicks of every fucking top player because there's nothing better to do with the spare time. <laughs> instead of instead of sitting in the lab for like 20 fucking minutes and 